Turns out we go home after we put in that bid 17 minutes before close, you know. And I'm not going to mention names, but the bitch said that she would um, take our bid. That obviously did not happen. Uh, didn't expect it to, but, you know, for um, what we knew was going to come after, uh, it was going to be a necessary step if things went further than that, which I'm sure they're going to. So anyway, we get in the closet where all the roles are for all the survey maps and things for because that's too goddamn close i don't want neighbors the neighbors i have are already too goddamn close like i fucking hate it there anyway the point is and they're not that close by most people's standards i don't fucking like it so you may be coming from the fucking city and thinking oh this is country no it's not you're fucking invading it you're ruining my shit that ain't country to me. That's you fucking invading. You're too goddamn close. Back the fuck up. Go find some other goddamn holler that has 40 acres and you're close the fuck off and not near me. Regardless, these dumb Yankee sons of bitches bought it. Fucking country. Did not come look at it. And if they did, because, you know, down there we don't fence, don't do anything. And by those tricky ass goddamn photos... Probably, like, dude, you're trying to sell me something that don't exist. I, I actually live on the fucking property. I know what's there. Property. I know what's there. So then a few hours before... Damn. Did I see if it was on that phone? Anyway. No, because I took it this morning. I said, it probably is. Like, there's a bunch of flat in there in a valley you could build on. And there's a bunch of those that uh, they've also edited out my neighbor's house from the fucking pictures to make them think that that's their property and what they're buying. Uh, which, is, by the way, there are certain codes and rules and ethics that real estate people have to follow, and I'll tell you this by... Anyway, uh, there are pictures here where he is absolutely trespassing, taking pictures of our side and our property. This one right here. This is the tract. Now, everything this is our second driveway that goes up towards the house. So, everything here is cliff face and embankment. All of this is unused to throw chickens or pigs or something on it if need be. But it should actually, even if they built a cabin, like a fucking yard barn sized house, leech beds 100 feet from those at least. And what happens when everybody starts selling is this. You're going to be surrounded by the same goddamn thing you were trying to move the fuck away from and end up in a bunch of HOA. And that's how you do it. You push. It ends up exactly what the fuck you left. You end up pushing the people out that on these tracks of land, say, like his, for hundreds of years. Okay? And that's some horse shit. I don't get down with that. Go find somewhere else. There's all kinds of places off fucking grid that don't have that same problem to where it's not going to break up these giant tracks and you could live free for more than five years because these out-of-towners out of and staters keep coming into this motherfucker and doing what they're doing right now and paying as much as 20 plus thousand dollars for two acres. We're all hit down here. Our taxes are going to be astronomical. Fucking done with it. Point being, um... If you're from out of state and you happen to be watching this, tell your friends stay the fuck home, go somewhere else. But so, let me tell you how... St what are they willing to do to bring those property taxes back down? To run that man off of that property, to buy that property cheap? What kind of crime are they willing to commit? That's my question.